disease, terrorism, hunger, and political clashes. These are a few things that make people unhappy today. I would like to understand if I want to have the biggest impact on changing the world, making people more happy, where should I go? More specifically, what's the most unhappy region in the world today? Unfortunately, we don't have credible sources providing us with data on the most unhappy people around the world. But we do have an index called the Happiness Index provided by the United Nations where they survey a thousand people from each country around the world and see on average how happy they are. So let's use that data but instead of looking at the most happy people around the world let's look at the most unhappy people around the world. First thing, how should we visualize this? As we have countries around the world I would suggest we just use a world map and emphasize this with different colors. And the thing I find most interesting about this is the use of colors. You could interpret this in any way you want. I'm gonna put it as simply as possible and gonna make it with a green, yellow, red lights. So basically green is good, yellow is medium, red is bad. So we're gonna try to emphasize that when it's bad, it's gonna be more red. And when it's not red, then it's good. And also a key thing here is that we could use yellow and green as well to emphasize where the medium countries are and the good countries are in terms of happiness but I really want us to focus in on the unhappiness so what we're gonna try to do is mute those colors in some sort of like either black or white to just clearly state that looking at any color then you'll find the unhappiness so it will be super clear when you look at this where do we find the unhappiness around the world next thing what program do we use I would recommend Tableau for this one because they have a super easy interactive map and uh, yeah, that's it. Let's go. Let's find out where we have the most unhappy region around the world today. Here we got our new Tableau worksheet and we're gonna go into the data source tab, we're gonna go into text file and we're gonna pick out the CSV. So you download this from their website and then we just head into 2019 and we open this. Here we can get a quick visualization of our data. We see the overall rank, country, score, GDP per capita, social support, life expectancy, etc. So let's go into the first sheet where we're gonna pick out our few columns to visualize this in the best possible way. So we're gonna start off by taking the country or region Put it down here. So we have the country. Now we want to look at the overall rank. So we put the overall rank into the color so we can see that the color is going to represent the rank they currently have in each country. So we put here. And here we can now see a visualization of the light colors being the ones with high ranking and the darker ones with the lower ranking. Now, I want to make this a little bit more visually appealing. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this one. We're going to edit colors. Here I'm going to take a pre-made one called red, black, white diverging. We'll get something like this. I'm going to flip this and reverse it. Make this white and click OK. And then we hit OK. And now, I think we got a pretty good visual representation of where we should look. I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna add a few more things because I see we have some more interesting data, for example, the GDP per capita, etc. I'm gonna try to visualize it in a more interesting way and um, I'll get back to you. So, I've now been playing around a little bit with the data. And um, I think we can find something a little bit more interesting here and make it a little bit more fun to look at. To keep it simple, if you want to go somewhere and change the world and have the biggest effect on a region, we can clearly see that Africa is not doing so well. Something more to look at with this data is the GDP and happiness ones. So you can see that clearly the ones with the dark colors, basically they're representing the uh, ranking of them, you have very few countries that are having a low GDP and a high ranking. But you can see, of course, some outliers, but there seems to be something to do with happiness and the money you make as well. And the thing I just felt most, um, I think, visually 
almost appealing in a way was the trust in government one. So basically the darker color, the less trust you have in government. And I, I don't think this is like the best kind of visualization, but I find it the most beautiful one. Basically looking at this, I almost see like an infected heart or something. And a lot of people is almost talking to the government in an infectious way. So my favorite one here is definitely the one in trust in government. Um, the other ones just look pleasant. Um, I added something extra to the data as well. I just put it on the end of each country in the CSV file, which was a little bit of um, information about the country. So when you click on, for example, for example let's pick uh, Sweden. Then you have, first of all, all of the colors for everything here. You can see them where they are on the GDP and happiness scale. And a little bit of, of a story for this. Thank you for today, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you.